You know, most things that we buy or use today are made to a recipe. And uh, this can apply to drinks, of course, but also to other things like television sets, radios, and computers. And if it's a piece of equipment, the recipe is called the technical standard. Now these days, more and more equipment is being made to do what it should by computer programs. So the standard can also be software or source code. Now today, we're on the verge of a new age, a new way of producing products. This is the age of free or Libra software. But when we talk about standards and recipes, there are actually four ways that we can do this. The first way is via proprietary or company standards. Only one company decides what the recipe is, only one company knows how to make it, and only one company makes the product. Welcome to the world of Coca-Cola. The second way is via an accessible proprietary system. One company develops the standard, one company controls it, but lots and lots of others are allowed to use it. Welcome to the world of Microsoft Windows. Way number three is via an open standard, and the DVB television system is a great example. You probably noticed on your set at home there's a little DVB logo, and that means it's been made in accordance with the DVB standard. It's great, but if you want to change it, if you have an idea for improving it, you've got to go through the whole formal standardization process to do so. Now, today, things may be changing. There may be a better way of arriving at recipes for products. Here at the Libra Software Meeting in Geneva, a brewer has made available free beer. And we think the same approach is going to apply to many other things in future. Now, this is not free beer in the sense that it costs nothing. You have to pay for it. But you can use the recipe in any way you want. You can change or modify it. And we think the same principles are going to apply in many other areas in future. This is the fourth method. So, in summary, we've talked about four ways of reaching a product. Proprietary standards, accessible proprietary standards, open standards, and finally, the free and open source approach. Now, in broadcasting, we use all four of these methods. But I think that in the future, more and more use is going to be made of the free and open source approach. Not bad. <laughs>